Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly, highly favored. And definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support. Being able to resonate um, with the things that we go through on a daily basis is so crazy to me. And I still say that. I, it's just weird that I'm going through something. And it's just like, it's funny when y'all drop these lines to me and say, Rosalind, do you have a mic in my house? Are you listening to the things I'm going through? No. <laughs> and, and, and I'm glad I can't because there's certain things I don't even want to know about y'all. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Love and blessings and love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. Also, if you feel like you're comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video. Or you're just up telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and head you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the, the videos give you good vibes or any good information that you would love to share with a loved one or family or friend, or even a fellow empath that's really going through some really trying times right now and need validation and confirmation, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. Thank you once again for the love and support that you've been giving me. I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Y'all was eating me some trail mix. <laughs> and I was like trying to swallow the uh, raisin. I was like, ah! I was about to get stuck. But anyways, uh, this beautiful, enchanting music I'm listening to, it makes me so relaxed, too. I try, had to make sure I turn it up for y'all to be able to hear it. It's called 432 Hertz Miracle Tone. Uh, clear Intuition Awakening Inner Strength. 520 uh 28 hertz rejuvenate and healing cells i didn't know it was all up uh, all about that you know i love that inner strength when you can awaken the inner strength and it kind of combines with my um content i got for today it's uh called hey Oka, uh twin flame 101 hey okas believe and change even when you can't see it y'all know oh lord you know we can all we all can resonate on that one way or another. You could be working on something. I remember what my daughter, she, uh, if you've been with me for a while, I know it was like, what was it, last month, month before last. It was like between end of, middle of February and uh, towards the beginning of March. Um, she was doing her book. You know, she got collaborated with all these different people that, you know, are artists, poets, you know, just doing poems, putting their, their paintings, their drawings all in one book. And, you know, she was like, Mom, I don't know if I'm going to get towards this deadline. We got a certain deadline to go ahead and get this book, get all the money for it so I can get it published. Oh, excuse me. So I can get it out there, you know, and I told her, baby, trust me, you're going to get, you're going to get to that certain goal. She was trying to be able to get donations and stuff like that. And I told her, watch, you're going to get that just before you know before your deadline and then you're gonna get more money on top of that before your deadline because she had a certain amount to get and it was like almost every video I was putting my daughter's link and I would show people her her painting that she had drew for me it was very beautiful my daughter's very talented like that um and she ended up getting more money than she thought she was on top of that two weeks before you know her deadline was to make her book and so it was just like, you know, we, we can go through things and we can go through things. We can be working our hardest. Yes, nobody's day is going to be always perfect. We're not always going to have good days. There's going to be some days you might have, you know, a hissy fit. There might be a day that you're just start raving mad or start feeling like you're about to lose your last mind. Or are you just pissed off at the world? You know, that's fine. But, you know, don't unpack and stay there. You're not supposed to. You know, if you know you're doing everything you need to do, you meditate on it. You sit on it. You're, you know, you're actually trying to be that change. Like I tell people, don't expect change if you're not trying to be that change. You have to be able to change your thought patterns. Change how you, you know, respond to things. Change on how you, uh, you look at things. You know, we always have to try to find something positive. And I, I mean, trust me, I know there's days that I can get really frustrated. You know, people that are close to me know there's days I burst out in tears saying I'm emotionally, mentally drained. I'm so tired. I'm tired of going through things. No matter how much positivity I push out, something's always being taken away from me. 
And I always say that, but it's just like, I have to be able to be grateful for the things I have in my life, you know, not worry about the things you can't control. And I have to keep telling myself that, remind myself, you know, you know, better days are coming, but you know, darkness will throw stuff in your, in your mix. Just when they know you're close to something, you, you might be close to a breakthrough or whatever on your life. And then it's just darkness keep, you know, hey, how you doing? What you doing? And I'm like, uh-uh, stop. You know, back up. <laughs> you know, you have to do that so you know change is coming. But it's like you have to be able to believe in yourself. Have that strength and confidence in yourself. Knowing if you're doing everything you can talk to universe. You can tell them, you know, look, I'm doing everything I am. I'm, I'm supposed to be doing I, I did everything you asked me to do and it's just like stuff is still not working like I tell y'all all the time if you've been with me for a while you hear me say you know if you know you're doing everything you can and things are just not working you got to pray on that you know whoever you pray to just pray on it and look how prayer works it might be you know it might not look like it's changing but you have to really pay attention to your surroundings you have to really pay attention to it because there's times I can go through something even my daughters and they'll tell me that at times she was like mom you know you don't re respond there's a lot of times I know I'm waiting for you to come on glued about certain things and you just walk off and just think about any other time I think I do daggone good especially when I don't have anything like an outlet a stress-free outlet this is my only outlet that I have other than singing and exercising you know other times I used to have a cigarette I used to roll you know roll with me a blunt or get me a glass of wine and I do none of those things I don't put no, nothing toxic in my body and it's just like I had to look at that as like you know what you're actually handling this head on that's the reason why it's so hard for you because you're not using any kind of stimulant outlet to be able to let go of whatever or see the things that you know that is happening you know that's life things will happen to you you know even universe sends stuff our way they don't recognize it as negative or positive you have to be able to look at it for what it's worth yeah there will be things taken out of our lives but we have to really you know see when things are taken out of our lives it's about to be replaced with something better and I have to keep telling myself that you know even though there might be times we might dwell on it and it's like you can you change it heck no so what you just sit up here dwelling off of it for and I have to really kick myself in the butt for doing that and I get so angry you know I tell God all the time I'm doing everything y'all ask me to do y'all tell me to be positive be positive you tell me to sit up here and do these videos I do my videos why are these things happening to me and you have to be constantly being tested because it's like God and universe is testing you, but it's just like, you know, devil on one side, God on the other. Devil, devil and um, dark, darklings are going to send stuff your way when they know that, you know, you're heading towards something bigger. You're elevating. It's, if it's not negative people, things are going to be said to you. Things are going to be said behind your back. Things are going to be said about you. You can't worry about those folks. You can't worry about whatever's being coming at you. But God and universe is going to see, okay, when these things are thrown at them, are they going to do the same thing they used to do? Are they going to fuss, fight, do all this, complain about this and this and this and that? Are they going to keep, you know, put, placing blame on other people and stop recognize, you know, start recognizing their own flaws in certain things? You know, how are you going to react to it? How are you going to think about it? Because it's like the last couple of days I've been going through stuff and I'm like, okay, well, things ain't changed yet, so let me go ahead and do what I need to do, you know, and I just was grateful for the things that I had, you know, even though I was like a little bit under the weather about it, but, I, you know, when I'm like that, I just don't come approach y'all about any, any videos, I just go ahead and go through my motions, and then when I'm back on track, hey, then come back, you know, because I really don't feel like y'all go through enough, hell, we go through enough stuff gravitating towards all type of energy, I'm not trying to unload that on anybody, you know, I'm trying to be here on a positive note, you know, you know before y'all catch me on any kind of note, you know, y'all might catch me slipping on crying a little bit every once in a while, because there are certain things that hit me in a happy way, it hits me in an emotional way, sad way, Way, but that's what the universe wants me to allow y'all to see to know that I can be vulnerable with you knowing this is what we can go through every day you know because we, sometimes we talk we cry tears that other people don't even know about you know bricks are being thrown at us we build walls with those you know not a wall a physical wall to block people out but we end up building something to help us elevate ourselves so it's just like you have to be able to see those things for what it's worth 
So, you know, know that the change is coming. It's going to be when we least expect it. It's going to catch us off guard, you know, but you have to be able to believe the universe has your back. Things are in your favor and it might not look like it is, but you always have to pay attention to things that, you, you know, that you are synchronized with the signs. You know, if it's not numbers, it's certain things will synchronize with you. It could be something you're thinking about. Next thing you know, a song pops up and you're just talking about it or um there's something that you might want and then you see somebody else have it around you or there's you could be wanting to get married and next thing you know you, you're on social media and you see about two or three people one's getting proposed to or one's getting a wedding dress one's going to a wedding you know all these different things are coming at you you might want a child next thing you know you see a movie that somebody you know found out they were pregnant or want a person you know or aiming towards the same thing or they found out they were pregnant. You know, all these different signs are coming towards your way to let you know these things are coming. It might not be happening to you, but they want to get you prepared to look at the signs around you for the things that you truly want in life. And they're coming, but they want you to be able to see it with other people. And you're supposed to rejoice them, what, no matter how bad. You know, because I used to, I, I would get like that. I'm like, oh, I'm happy for them, but when is my stuff coming? You know, you keep showing me everybody else, but when is my stuff coming? When am I going? When am I going to get something? You know, and I used to be that way. And then there's, you know, and I just really said, you know what, just keep doing you. You know, that's all you can do is just keep doing you. Not every day is going to be perfect, but just make it make it perfect for you you know be able to work it out for yourself to make yourself happy you know even though you might not be where you want to be right now don't think you're not going to be there it's just all your thought process the energy you're giving out what what is your mind dwelling on if your mind keeps dwelling on the things that you don't have in life or you're just so you know wanting things to change that quick for you it is you know it's not gonna make it any you know it's not gonna come any quicker they want you to be able to work on you being able to better yourself being able to be in that high level that you need to be in to know hey you know universe i'm, I'm preparing myself for this i know y'all see this you know and they're proud of you they will send you like seven 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 nine 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 or you know eight three eight you know something like that they applaud you to know that hey we're we're glad you're gravitating and you're staying on your level things you're manifesting your thought process you chose to you know use your energy wisely you know all these different things that they're letting you know hey we're proud of you you know you're it's coming but it's not going to be in this manifestation that you think it's going to be or you could be praying for something it and 10 times something you know 10 times of what your prayer was is going to come out to you it's going to be massacized or whatever that word is and it's going to be bigger and better than you ever thought it was so you know if you know you're doing good for yourself as well as others believe in change have faith in change and knowing change is going to come towards you as long as you know you are being that change man you got that in the bag so you go ahead and let me know if you resonate with the content of this video much love to you i hope you have a blessed safe weekend and be responsible and safe for everything you do send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can you know you never know what kind of words you can send towards somebody else's path you know kind words go a long way and i'm giving my post notification shout out to uh scott silky j eight eight six um Hawkeye Cheney and True Blue and G Niso. Much love to you. So now as much love and light and positivity you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always someone out there praying for your better days. So much love to you. Peace. And be wild. <laughs>